grade bosses of this gen. I was coming and talk to you guys. Okay, first of all, hashtag pretty gang in a pretty gang in the comments. Second of all, subscribers to the channel. What you ain't know why you play with me. Okay? I want to come in and talk to you guys about clients that are a nightmare. Yes, ma'am. Let's talk about some of these rude and reckless clients, okay? Rude, reckless, rude, okay? First things first, any client that asks too many questions should be a red flag for you, okay? Most of the time, clients who ask too many questions, they are going to be a problem because they're already starting off asking too many questions, especially if it's questions that can be answered by your booking site, your Instagram. They're just not looking at it. Now, don't get me wrong, there's some older or mature people that might need you to clarify a couple of things because they might not know how this new stuff goes. However, if you get a client that's always asking you 101 questions, steer clear of that client because they are going to be a problem in the long run. Now, a, a solution to this problem is have a frequently asked question page or a frequently asked question post on your Instagram. So if people ask you a whole bunch of questions, what you can do is have questions that people usually ask you that you already answered and send that to your client so you don't have to re-explain yourself. It's already in the list, probably like 10 questions of, of like, people might ask you like, what kind of hair do you, you suggest? How early should they come for their appointment? Do you allow people, extra people to come with them? All kind of stuff like the regular stuff people would ask you. You definitely want to go ahead and have that answer. But the client will ask the most questions. Baby, that's a red flag. You need to leave that client alone. The second nightmare client is the client, the client that says, do whatever. Do not roll with no client that say do whatever. You think that that sounds good. You think it sounds good, like, oh, they're gonna let me do whatever, but then you gotta be careful because one, if you do whatever and they get out of your chair and they don't like it, they're gonna blame you. Number two is you might think you're gonna do something simple because you're like, okay, we're gonna let me do whatever. And then they're still unhappy. So what I think you should always let a client do is if they come to you and say, do whatever, what I would do is I would point out my three, what will, one to three styles that you know how to do well and send them to those styles and say, hey, which one of these three styles do you like? And make them pick a style because if you do not make them pick a style and you do something on their hair and they're unhappy with it, they will blame you for it. That is a red flag. Do not let nobody sit in your chair and say, do whatever. Again, it sounds good in theory, like, oh, they don't let me do whatever. But no, honey, it's a trick bag if they tell you to do whatever. They're going to leave your chair and they're going to be unhappy. Okay, the third nightmare client is the client that always want to negotiate you down and wants to, to offer you something in exchange. Now, if you into all of that, do that. But anybody that comes to you and tries to haggle you or negotiate you on your prices, you need to not allow them to book with you because they are going to try that because they do not value your braiding business. Pause. Go look at my other video where I tell you to charge what you are worth. Please, watch this video, go watch that video, okay? Anybody that wants to negotiate you down, they do not value your services. And the last person you want to deal with is somebody that don't value you, okay? So do not, okay? Do not let them do that. And if I were you, if you get a client that is negotiating and trying to get you to do a discount and all that, unless you run in a discount, if they propose a discount to you, it's a no. If you run in a discount, that's different. But if you run into a client that's trying to negotiate with you, the answer to that is decline to do their hair. They're gonna be a problem, okay? The fourth client that can be a nightmare client is the person that wants to switch up their hairstyle. No man, okay? Many of us who do hair, who do braids, who do natural hair, we book clients and we have a slot for something that a client wants to do. So if a client comes to you and says, hey, I want feed-in braids, you know, about 10 or 12 of them, you know that's going to take you about two hours, two hours and a half. But they switch up their hairstyle and now they want, I don't know, they want 20 braids. Ma'am, one, how do you not know that I have a client behind you right so the slot is already slotted for a certain kind of hairstyle and if they switch it up 
they're gonna cause you to run late possibly on your other client so it's not good when clients come and they want to switch things up not to mention some people think just because they switch the style up that means that the price is the same no ma'am one you keeping this hairstyle two the price is gonna stay what it is because you're not gonna get a different hairstyle because it's gonna take you more time and it's gonna cost more money and then they're gonna be a problem because more than likely for many 